Hello, my name is Mohtasim Tamit and my name is Soyed Asif Jawar. Today we are here to discuss the Ohm's law in terms of electrical conductivity. At first, let's know a little bit about George Ohm. We can see him in the picture. The Ohm's law was named after the German physicist George Ohm who published it in 1827, described measurements of applied voltage and current through simple electrical circuits containing various lengths of wire. He presented a slightly more complex equation than the one we will talk about to explain his experimental results. Now that we know about Ohm, let's talk about the basic expression of Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the potential difference across a conductor is proportional to the current through it. The law can be expressed as V is equal to I into R, where V is the potential difference, I is the current following through the conductor sorry, flowing through the conductor and the con constant of the proportionality is called the resistance R. In the following figure, we can see V, I and R, the parameters of Ohm's law. Today, we will focus on the expression of law Ohm's law in terms of electrical conductivity. From previous expression, we can write that I equal V by R. In the, uh, in the left side, if we divide and multiply I with A and at the right side, if we divide and multiply V with L, then we get this equation. Here A is the area of conductor and L is the length of the conductor. As we can see, if we divide the current flowing through the conductor with its cross-sectional area A, we will get the current density J. And if we divide the volume of the conductor with the length of the conductor, we will get the electric field epsilon. So from there we can write this equation. As you can see, J is the current density and epsilon is the electric field which we talked about a moment ago. J into A is equal to epsilon into L into 1 by R. Finally, we can write from here J is equal to sigma into epsilon where sigma is the conductivity which can be written as 1 by r into a where r is the resistance and a is the cross-sectional area so this is the expression of ohm's law in terms of electrical conductivity in order to derive the equation of ohm's law in terms of conductivity, we need to know a little bit about Drude model. The Drude model of electrical conduction was proposed in 1900 by Paul Drude to explain the transport properties of electrons in materials. The model, which is an application of kinetic theory, assumes that the microscopic behavior of electrons in a solid may be treated classically and looks much like a pinball machine. Here, root model in electrons shown in blue. The most significant result of the root model is the linear relationship between current density J and electric field A, which can be expressed as like this j is equal to 
n into q square into tau by m into e where q is charge n is the number density and m is the mass and tau is the mean free time between ionic collisions however we will not discuss the details of this equation we will just use it today in order to derive the equation we need to consider some observations firstly when no electric electric field is applied to the conductor there will be no net current but still the electrons of the conductor will move around randomly at high speed this random speed of the electrons can be denoted by vr the approximate value found through experiments for this parameter is 10 to the power meter per second when an external electric field is applied to the conductor it will introduce a force on the electrons thus the electrons will gain a velocity resulting sorry the as a result of this force this velocity is called drift velocity the external force which was introduced by the external electric field can be expressed as like this equation where it is minus e into epsilon as we know e is the charge of electron and epsilon is the electric field at a steady state the force which was introduced by the applied electric field will going to be balanced by the drag force due to collision the drag force is created by the collision of the electrons the drag force can be written as mvd by tau where m is mass of electron tau is relaxation relaxation time the time between two collision of the electrons here the drift velocity vd by tau is the acceleration if we multiply with this mass we will get the force from that we can write vd equal minus e epsilon tau by m Considering the above observ observations, we will derive the Ohm's law now. If we write the net current density J, which can be written as J is equal to minus N into E into Vd. Here, N is the concentration of electron and N is equal to zv into rho into na where zv is valency rho is density na is avogadro number and m is the atomic weight from here we can write j is equal to sigma into epsilon where sigma is the conductivity and sigma is equal to n into tau into e a square divided by m where we discussed about n earlier however there are measured value of sigma for different metals putting the value of sigma and the other parameters we can calculate the unknown value of tau it's found for a variety of metals that the approximate value of tau is 10 to the power minus 14 seconds. So, we have derived the Ohm's law in terms of conductivity here. 
we have talked about ohm's law its expression in terms of conductivity and derived it before finishing our discussion i would like to introduce you with some facts the conductivity sigma in the equation is purely a material property it is completely independent from the dimension of the conductor if we assume tau equal 10 to the power minus 14 second and vr equal 10 to the power 6 meter per second then the distance between two collisions can be found approximately 100 angstrom this is a very large number for a electron to travel to collide with another electron which is prodigal so that's it from us thanks for watching